I'm good. I mean, I'm kind of settling back into it. You know, it's been like maybe like three weeks now since I've felt like it's all kicking off and stuff like that. At first, I was like exhausted and overwhelmed. I'd a bit teary all the time. I don't know if I want to do it, but it was too late. So I just have to sort of get comfortable with it and ride it. Did Adele have plastic surgery? It's a big question that's not clear yet. Hello guys, welcome back. Unfortunately, no one has an explanation for this question. There are many rumors that Adele had liposuction, facelifts, and even rhinoplasty and chin surgery. It's not proven if Adele lost weight and attained her new body shape through bariatric or plastic surgery or diet and workout. Adele is gorgeous, then and now. Adele has been in the public eye for years now and she's been through a lot both with her employment and her private life. She has transformed quite a bit since we were all playing on repeat. Her style modification and weight loss conversion throughout her profession will extremely blow your mind. She's been slayed the whole time, but in our opinion, she's looking prettier than ever these days. In July 2021, the songstress was astonished while we in a stylish costume during a rare impression at an NBA game. In images conveyed by the Daily Mail, Adele wore black jeans and a black top paired with a Vivienne Westwood jacket and matching heels while accompanying Game 5 of the NBA Finals. It was an extremely fascinating outing because she sat courtside next to LeBron James and his agent, Rich Paul, who is also her boyfriend. The starlet first debuted a slimmer figure in October 2019 while she attended Drake's birthday party. In 2020, the UK native revealed her incredible 100-pound weight loss while swaying in a little black frock in honor of her 32nd birthday on May 6. She opened up about her new transformation during an interview with Vogue in October 2021. It was because of my anxiety. Working out, I would just feel better, she described spending some quality time at the gym. It was never about losing weight. It was always about becoming strong and giving myself as much time every day without my phone. I got quite addicted to it. I work out two or three times a day. That being said, the Love in the Dark singer ensured she got in shape for myself and not anyone else. People are shocked because I didn't share my journey. They're used to people documenting everything on Instagram, and most people in my position would get a big deal with a diet brand. Adele said, I couldn't give a flying F. Why would I ever share it? I don't find it fascinating. It's my body. Not surprisingly, the Grammy Award champion is absolutely living her best life right now after her remarkable accomplishment, an insider told Life and Style Solely. She's in the best shape she's ever been and even though she's in the best shape she's ever been in, even though she can't believe how she's transformed her body. Her raid into healthiness also helped her embrace motherhood on a whole different level, with her son Angelo Atkins, a second source revealed. She says she has more energy now. The insider raved. Every aspect of her life has shifted. She feels energized and excited about the future. In an October discussion with British Vogue, the Hello singer alleviated even more light on the differences she made to her fitness and why she assigned to keep her 100-pound weight lost to herself. Now, Adele, who was damaged most by the brutal conversations other ladies had about her body, she told Vogue is pushing back against the reaction to her weight loss. It's not my job to validate how people feel about their bodies. The Easy On Me singer told Oprah, I feel bad if anyone feels terrible about themselves, but that's not my job. I'm trying to sort my own life out. I can't have another worry. Despite her changed impression, Adele ensures that she has not reversed on the inside. My body's been objectified my entire career. It's not just now. She notified Vogue in a different interview last month. I understand why it's a shock. I understand why some women especially were hurt. Visually, I represented a lot of women but I'm still the same person. You don't need to be overweight to be body positive. You can be any shape or size. She proceeded with British Vogue and played back in her recent interview with Oprah. Adele notified British Vogue she would become quite addicted to working out because it made her feel good. I work out two or three times a day, she said. The singer opts for strength training in the morning, and then in the afternoon, she'll hike or box. At night, she gets her cardio in. I was unemployed when I was doing it, and I did it with trainers, she said admitting that this routine is not very doable for a lot of people. Pursuing two drop discs and a C-section, Adele liked to focus on feeling stronger, physically and mentally. She got turned on to the movement and especially strength training. So turned on that she started doing double sessions, the singer's trainer, Greg Maley, told Vogue. Adele said she has probably expended more time with Maley than anyone else over the past three years. Adele's weight loss voyage was initiated a few years earlier though. 
In a 2016 discussion with Vogue, the musician said she was achieving to stay in contour for her interpretations, which resulted in weight loss. I was trying to get some stamina for my tour, so I lost a bit of weight. Now I fit into normal, off-the-shelf clothes, which is a really big problem for me, she conveyed. I'm an athlete. I'm not even boasting, she told Oprah this month. I'm also a very good boxer. I've got a left hook that could kill you. If only at school I hadn't discovered boys and someone had told me to go and do a bit more PE. In January 2020, people documented that Adele has been following a strict diet. Other openings, including Prevention, picked up the story that the star was pursuing the cert food diet, but she shut this down to British Vogue. No, ain't done that. She let out. The celebrity also said she didn't want to try periodic fasting or any special diet for that consequence. If anything, I eat more than I used to because I work out so hard, she said. That whole thing of like, gets revenge body, is ridiculous. I think it's that people love to portray a divorced woman as spinning out of control. Adele is not accurate about what she eats. She told Oprah that she cares and likes to eat Chinese food and quit McDonald's the night before their interview. Her favorite is chicken nuggets, a Big Mac, and fries. That's my three course, she told British Vogue. I eat it at least once a week. While some may infer that Adele's current weight loss is due to her detachment, Adele lets out it's more to do with being the best mama she can be to her son Angelo. When I was 30, my entire life fell apart and I had no warning of it. She advised British Vogue to her divorce of Konecki. I was just going through the motions and I wasn't happy. She continued in Vogue. I want my son to see me love and be loved. It's really important to me. She says that she and Konecki were broken up for some time before they told people. I've been on my journey to find my true happiness ever since, she let out. When Adele commemorated her 31st birthday, she indicated that she was going through a big period of development. I've changed drastically in the last couple of years and I'm still changing and that's okay. 31 is going to be the big old year and I'm going to spend it all on myself, she penned down in an Instagram post at the time. For the first time in a decade, I'm ready to feel the world around me and look up for once. Be kind to yourself, people. We're only human. Go slow. Put your phone down and laugh out loud at every opportunity. She resumed. Learning to truly love yourself is it. And I've only just realized that it's more than enough. What's more about Adele is that she has put one of her Beverly Hills homes on the market for $12 million after settling into her incredible $58 million mansion nearby. She also held a West Sussex estate in East Grindstead with her then-husband Simon and son Angelo, which was later sold. Though she still acknowledged to her own UK property, Adele was now established in Beverly Hills, California. I hope you got inspired by her journey. Do let us know your views in the comment section below. Stay tuned and subscribe to our channel for more. See y'all in the next video. Until then, goodbye.